What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Marcus and today we're talking about a very special knife. It is the Stitched Steel Alien as seen right here. Uh, this one is the uh, Alien number 38. So currently there are only 38 of these in existence outside of the prototypes. Um, this one is obviously full dress. So those are Moku tie handles and a uh, Damascus steel blade. That's the high carbon steel, so it's got more contrast in it, but it's a little bit more prone to rusting if it's not properly cared for. Um, but as you can see, I've got a nice little layer of oil on there, giving it some extra sheen. So in this review, we will not be talking about the full dress aspect of it because that is really, really atypical. There's only one other full dress alien in existence, uh, and it is a, a blued out blade instead of a blacked out blade. So it's got a different look. Um, rumor has it that it's been damaged, so, you know, that's even less relevant. So, uh, the actual full dressedness of this is not really going to come into play in this review because that is, uh, the exception rather than the rule. The base model is made with, uh, titanium handles and an S35 VM blade, but with it as well as all of Stitch's work, you can upgrade the materials and, and work and, and get something just a little bit different. Uh, which is what I went for with this one because I uh, really, really have just, I've always adored this knife. Um, it's just one of those kind of iconic ones. It's just a gorgeous knife. Uh, and so I was really excited to be able to, to purchase one and I really just wanted to go absolutely all out with it. And so here we are with this. Uh, but for the purpose of the review, again, we're not going to talk about the full dress side of it. We will talk about everything else. We'll talk about flipping. We'll talk about performance. We'll talk about the feel, the weight, the overall just style. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, so with the blade of this knife, it is just this really, really gorgeous, exaggerated, stylized Tonto style blade. It's, uh, you know, that's a popular shape, not this specific shape, but just variants of Tonto blades are, are really popular in ballast songs and knives in general. So um, obviously seeing a spin on it that's done by hand is really nice. And it's, it's just got this aggressive alien look to it. Uh, it's I've got nothing bad to say about the blade. It's a really nice blade style. It's got a good girthiness to it, um, unlike something like the Serif, which is a little bit too slender for my my preference. Um, it's got a nice like girth to it. it. It looks like a good blade. It is absolutely razor sharp with just a, an insanely, insanely sharp nose. That tip is brutal. It's not quite Jerry Home sharp, but I mean, no, no blade is as sharp as a basilisk nose. Um, and obviously that comes with a, a host of problems. So I'm actually rather thankful for the fact that it is uh, just a standard blade tip, but it is so ungodly sharp. This, it's, it's sharp. I don't know what to say about it other than it's a sharp knife. The other uh, big thing are the handles. The handles are chonky. It is built like a tank. And uh, that's part of the design philosophy behind this knife was to make a knife that's an absolute tank. And, uh, it succeeded. It is a chunky tank of a knife, and I really, really do appreciate that. It feels good in the hand. It, I, you know, even even simple things just have a nice, like, satisfying momentum to them. Obviously, if anyone's watched a Will Hirsch video, he's sung nothing but praises for the alien, and, and I can see why. I kind of thought maybe it would be a case of it's overhyped, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels really, really solid, and it is, uh, it's a different flipping experience than most knives on the market. Uh, the Pluto from Area 51 comes to mind in terms of just a knife that feels chunkier and classic. And this kind of hits that same classic chunky vibe, which is, again, phenomenal. I really appreciate that. 
Um, it's a stark contrast to the Paradigm, which, um, spoiler alert, I really love, but it has a completely different design philosophy. That one is built to be more like a race car, in Stitch's words, whereas this is a tank. Um, and that comes across, again, perfectly in the design philosophy, and it, it really is just a phenomenal knife in terms of its build. And that goes for both of them, but again, we'll we'll talk about the Paradigm in the next video, uh, which I'm, I'm saving for later. Um, but again, both have phenomenal builds. Both succeed in their, their design goal. So the handles are really nice. They've got a simple hole pattern that kind of harkens back to like classic Benchmade knives. Um, just as a fun little reference, obviously it's the Stitch Steel Alien. And so there are six to six, which was, you know, just a nod to the classic character, which is, uh, it's cool. It's really neat when knife makers do stuff like that, when they have a hole pattern that is not just, well, this one looks cool, but has a little bit more to it. Uh, so I really do appreciate that. That's just a nice little design feat. So uh, let's talk more about the functionality. So functionality-wise, as far as flipping is concerned, the Alien does flip differently than most knives currently on the market. Um, so it weighs in at a little over five ounces. Uh, I don't have the exact weight and because all of Stitch's knives are handmade, they all have some variance to them. So uh, we can see though, that if we compare the handle length, right, compared to the Volp, shorter handles. Compared to the Nautilus, much shorter handles. Compared to the Paradigm, shorter handles again. So it has significantly shorter handles than most knives on the market. And obviously, that's just a small taste of what's out there. But right now, kind of the trend in InDesign seems to be towards a longer handle knife. So when you flip it, that shortness is noticeable. Even when you do something like fanning, it just, it takes a little bit to get used to. There's just a slightly different feel towards flipping, which is not a bad thing. It's a really nice thing. And, and combined with the weight of the knife, it carries momentum really nicely. I'm not gonna do anything wild right now because I'm flip, I'm filming the, the face view camera and, uh, sitting over a, a hardwood floor and so I'm not going to risk damaging myself the knife of the floor by flipping and trying to talk at the camera which is just a recipe for disaster if we're being completely honest at least as far as my abilities are concerned. So uh, right shorter handles than most balance songs currently on the market um, obviously what I just showed isn't representative of everything but that's kind of just a general across the board of price ranges what you what you see um, and again they're, they're heavier you know they've got spacers that are, are pretty nice they've got you know a little bit milled groove a little bit of a milled groove in there to uh, reduce some weight and uh you feel it though you feel that momentum carry which honestly is incredibly satisfying uh for any sort of rollover based trick it is it's just a really good feeling it has a nice solid momentum to it and uh i really appreciate that and then there is i mean there is no no play in these knives and I, I mean like like there is nothing i have them lubed with carbon honey right now and that is obviously a great lube but i i cannot make this knife budge outside of its tolerances which is phenomenal it is easily one of the two best tuned knives i've ever handled now previously that was the the pdn uh, and now it belongs to the alien and one other knife that we'll talk about in the future the, the bushings are, again, phenomenal on this. Tang pins are great. So, what else is there to talk about? Let's talk about the sound. it wasn't obvious from every other bit of flipping the sound pro profile for this knife is really muted the tang pins uh and just the general build create a muted sound and that's perfect i i have come to really appreciate um a muted sound profile in knives my wife hates the sound of ballast song flipping and so something like the volp really just drives her up the wall and even you know, that the Nautilus does a better job about being kind of on the quieter side. But if you live with anyone that, that really doesn't like 
loud balisong noises, this is the perfect sound profile, really. It's as close to perfectly silent as you can get. Um, it still is a good sound if you like sound. It's just, it's a mellow, mellow sound that's not overwhelming, it's not loud, it's not really irritating uh, if you're not the person actively flipping. So that's that's just a nice little bonus. Um, and again, tang pin construction uh, is is really solid. The tang pins do a phenomenal job of just providing a nice bouncy sort of feedback. Um, and they, they do their job, right? There's the handle gap, which is perfect. I've got nothing bad to say about it in terms of that. Um, Really, this is less about review or critique and really more of just a how, it's, how it stands up compared to most knives on the market. Right now, the Alien's on hiatus, and so a full review doesn't necessarily make as much sense as something like reviewing like, like a Nautilus, right? Because a Nautilus, you can purchase at any point in time, really, whereas the Alien is on hiatus, and so they're only available in the secondhand market. And so this is really more of a, hey, should you spend this money on a knife that, on the second hand especially, is going up in value. And I really do think that, that it's worth it. If you were a collector, if you like the, you know, higher momentum knives, you know, that have a little bit more heft to them, it really hits that niche and it's phenomenally well made. I, I am so unbelievably impressed with just how incredibly precise every single aspect of it is. Um, Stitch... It's well known. He makes everything by hand. There's no like CNC machinery. It's it's all you know, hand drilled, hand cut, hand sharpened, hand fitted. Everything is done by hand, and, and it is it is noticeable. Here we're gonna lean in real close to this you know little iPhone front facing camera here. Those edges are beautifully rounded. The uh, just fit and finish is just phenomenal. It is such a comfortable knife to hold. It feels so nice in the hand, and, and the quality of construction is really just absolutely unbelievable and obviously or maybe it's not obvious as an added bonus or perk stitch's customer service is really just absolutely top tier his warranty covers absolutely every single thing so if it's a factory defect and factory obviously is not really the right term if it's a manufacturing defect he'll cover it right so if if i were to say have a tang pin fall out which i haven't because again the construction on these is phenomenal free replacement, free repair, just completely covered. If there's a blemish in the blade, completely covered, right? I mean, there's there's bound to have little mistakes slip through. It's it's a handcrafted borderline piece of art, really. I mean, I would argue that the, the full dress is is a piece of art. But even the, you know, S35BN with, with titanium knives are still handcrafted. And so, you know, sometimes little tiny blemishes will slip through. And if that's an issue, it can get fixed without a single problem. And that is just phenomenal. Um, obviously they run on the, the pricey side and right now aliens are again on hiatus. So secondhand mark is the only way to go, but it really is just phenomenal. The quality, the attention to detail, the feeling, I really, I have nothing but good things to say about this knife. It is fun. It is functional. I mean, the closest thing to a criticism is that it's hefty with short handles and that is a preference for some people and I've personally enjoyed handling it. it it's such a unique feel compared to most knives on the market that I really I have had a hard time putting it down which is tough because we have another knife to talk about and that is the stitched steel paradigm coming soon I mean genuinely soon we're probably going to talk about it next week instead of my normal schedule of like maybe it'll be a month from now but I want to take my time on these reviews and so I took some time way longer than I normally do to make sure I really thought about what I was saying and got the most accurate picture out there for what it is. Um, so thank you for watching, thank you for su subscribing, liking the videos, commenting, being part of the discussion, whatever you want to say. Uh, I really appreciate the viewership and I hope this helps. If if you're debating picking it up on the secondhand market, go for it. If Stitch opens up his list again, I, I have to say go for it. It is really just such a cool knife. Um, that'll be it for today though. Thank you. Bye-bye.